If you're completely broke, I'm gonna show you how to make your first $5,000 without any money. Now, this is, not, this is not Amazon, this is not Shopify, this is not dropshipping, this is none of those, okay? This is actually something that you're probably already doing, just nobody taught you how to make really good money with it. So you're already doing this one thing, but you're leaving a lot of money on the table. And so I'm gonna show you how to make that money back that you've just been leaving out there forever. So this is not very long ago I was in your position either. I, in the last year, I've been able to take my value and four exit. So I'm now worth four times more money per hour than I was worth at my day job. And that required a college degree. Four and a half years of my life, okay? $25,000 in college debt, another probably 30 or $40,000 of my own money. All that gone just for me to be able to make more money in one year on my own. You know, honestly, it was only in April of 2018 when I was able to quit my job and go on my own full time. So it hasn't been that long where I was just in the rat race and honestly, I, I hated it. So you're already making money, chances are, okay? You've got a job, you go to work, you bring home some of that dough. Now, there are some serious advantages to this type of income that just nobody's talking about, okay? Everybody beg is like passive income, passive income, passive income, whereas Right, with your current job, there are some really nice things. You know how much money you make an hour. So when I, right, I made $9 an hour at college making sub sandwiches for drunk people because I always worked the really late shifts. So I knew if I worked 20 hours a week, I made 180 bucks that week. It was, it was that simple, it was straightforward. I knew if I weren't to work, I got paid. And I loved that, okay, that was the best part about it. And also, it didn't take any risk. I just went into the interview. I said, hey, I'm here, let's do this. And then 30 minutes later, I had a job. It, it was simple. And right, it's not like some of these businesses that take 5,000 or like, you know, a franchise, which will take you a quarter of a million dollars to get started. You just get a job, okay? And some jobs sure require college degrees, uh, but those are in a little bit different category than the jobs that most people have. Most people don't have college degrees or jobs. A lot of people have college degrees and a lot of people have those degrees and jobs that, well, sadly don't even require them. And that's, that's a real travesty. So we're gonna take those two things and we're gonna build on them. We're gonna build on them to a whole nother level. And this is how you're gonna make your first 5K as an entrepreneur. So there's really gonna be three steps to this process. I need you to write these down and we're gonna take some notes. And I've got three examples that I'm going to show you for to walk you through this process, different ways that you can implement this because, well, there's a lot of ways to do it. So there's the three steps. We're gonna take something you're already doing, which is trading your time for money. And we're gonna trade it for a lot more money. That's the point. We're gonna get you from you know $20 an hour where you're at now to 50 bucks an hour and be able to have you work from home. And you know, just this, this right here is my, my paradise. I wake up, I come down here and I work. And we can get, you can do the same, da same thing, okay? There's nothing wrong with trading your time for money. And it's the only way you can make money if you're broke. You're not gonna invest in the stock market. You're not gonna invest in the real estate. Don't take your last $2,000 you've been saving for years and spend all of that money trying to start a business, okay? What happens if an emergency comes up and that two grand is gone and it's invested in something you can't just pull out right away, right? That is why I, this is just, this is exactly what I would have done if I could go back, I wouldn't go to college, I would do exactly this when I was completely broke. I had the advantage when I got out of college that I was making enough money where I could start a business that required some money. But I, I went back, did it all over again, I wouldn't do that. So here are the three steps. We gotta pick a skill that people are gonna pay you for and gonna pay you well. This is a skill that's gotta have a high pay ceiling, okay? So if you wanna make $50 an hour or $100 an hour doing something, you can't do it, you, you can't do it at something where nobody's making that kind of money at, okay? If, if you wanna go work, right? If you wanna go be a cashier for 30 years, you don't be surprised when you don't make good money. And I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bash on those people, but there's nobody who makes good money as a cashier. It's not, it shouldn't have been a surprise to you, okay? So step one, I'm gonna help you pick a very valuable skill and we're gonna leverage the strengths you already have. And believe me, there are some skills, some of these skills, uh, these skills don't always take as much work to learn as you think. Step two, we're gonna have to get really damn good at it. And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna teach you how to get good in half the time. I've learned a ton of things over this last year of me being on my own and doing this stuff. I'm gonna give part of them on you. And lazy alert, if you are, if you're not willing to put in some time, put in some effort, put in the work, 
because it's not for you. It's not for you. Uh, if you're not willing to take a couple months and just work it out so you can be at the point where you're valuable enough to make some money, I can't give it. You're not going to make $10,000 a month on two hours a week. It's just not going to happen. And for those people who are promising you that probably just want to sell you their $500 course. Step three, okay? We have to pick a skill. We have to get good at it. And then we have to find somebody who is going to buy our skills. And man, if we're going to be leveraging social media. We're going to be doing things the way that don't cost money to do because I get contacted with people trying to sell me things all the time because I'm a YouTuber and we're gonna we're gonna teach you how to do that correctly without getting turned down, okay? Because I, I some of these people you should see their pitches, they're just disgusting. They're really bad. So, step one, we gotta pick you a skill, okay? And we're gonna walk through, I got these three case studies, and we're gonna go through them and I'm gonna teach you something about each of these. About uh, there's gonna be something to learn in each of these three case studies we're gonna walk through and I need you to write them down and apply them to whatever you choose to learn you might be you're already probably really good at something okay right yeah you know if you're already a profession you already have if you're already in the markets okay you're already good at finances you're already a nurse take those skills which have a lot of value and then leverage them into this and figure out what you can do and and the way you're gonna do that is by with these case studies so step one we're gonna take a very simple skill, video editing, <laughs> right? Video editing is something very simple. It doesn't take too long to learn how to video edit and you can make a ton of money at it. Now, there are a ton of people in India willing to do video editing for five bucks an hour. So you say, Adam, how can I make good money doing video editing? That's just, what, there's so much competition. Well, first of all, I've used a lot of them and they're awful, okay? I've used a lot of editors at this point that are cheap and they're just awful. But also, also, the first lesson here, and write this down, you need to pair, the way to get, be worth a lot of money is to pair two skills together that nobody else has, okay? And so now you have a very sub niche, a very small piece, a very small amount of people wanna buy your service, but the people who do wanna pay a lot of money. So I recently had to get a video edited for this channel, and I normally teach people how to sell on Amazon. I, I made about $8,000 in profit last month on Amazon. Okay, that's what I do. And I need to get a video editing, a lot of sensitive information edited out of the video. But because this guy didn't have any information on how what it was like to sell on Amazon, what actually is confidential, <laughs> I had to sit there and take screenshots and do outlines and be like, hey man, this is what needs to be taken out of the video. And so even though he was not one of the cheap video editors, I hired one of the more expensive ones, he couldn't help me out. And so I had to spend hours of my time. We had to go back and forth. Stuff wasn't right because he just simply did not know. So if somebody took a little bit of time to understand, just to have a moderate level of skill on Amazon and a moderate level of skill in video editing, it's not that difficult to blur stuff, right? You could, be, you could have saved me hours of my time having to do all this crap. It was it was just so much back and forth. And so all of a sudden, instead of being worth what this guy was worth, you could be worth two, three, or four times more money than he was worth because you could provide those skills to me and I want you, and I want you to apply that same thing in yours. So let's try and find a specific subset of skills that you can learn, get decent at, and then bring them to somebody. You gotta bring them to a specific market, okay? This is how you're gonna make that great money. And you know, just like this is my office right here. I'm actually in my girlfriend's place, right? I don't, I don't normally just have a pink dress picture sitting in my house, but this is my girlfriend's place out in here in Los Angeles. I come visit her probably about a third of the time. So that is the first case study and that's the first lesson. Second case study. All you gotta know how to do is to write. If you know how to write English, okay? If English was one of your good skills in, in school, this is the perfect one for you. It's all you gotta know how to do. Now, how can that, how can just writing pay you well? Because there's a lot of people who do writing and they don't get paid super well. So I, one of the things I hate as part of my Amazon business is I have to write listings. I have to write sales pages. You know, the page you read, all of the, the title, the description of the product. I gotta write that because that's my product. I hate it. Most people hate it. It's something I don't like doing. And, and if somebody was willing to be able to do that for me, I'd be able to pay them a lot of money, a lot of money. You're worth 50 to $100 an hour instantly, instantly if you're good at writing 
this, if you just go to writing product descriptions, <laughs> if you can write me four to six paragraphs, that's all a listing is. Okay, you're worth like $400. That, like, that's what like, the going rate is. $400 plus dollars to write four to six paragraphs. Like, just really think about that. Really think about it. There's a lot that more that goes into it. So how do you get good at something like this though if you don't have a product on Amazon? How can you get good at something if you don't, at this if you don't have a product? Well, here's lesson number two and write this one down too. The way you're gonna get good is by copying the greats. Okay, so we're gonna watch YouTube videos and we're gonna figure out what, how to do this whole process, but then we're just gonna go copy the greats. Go find those listings that are selling an insane amount on Amazon. And once you read 100 or 200 or 300 of those, you're gonna know exactly, you're gonna be able to recite in your sleep, like, oh, huh, this is how you sell a product, this is how you sell this product, and you're just gonna be able to do it in your sleep because you've read so many of them, right? When I wanted to get good at YouTube, I went and watched YouTube videos that got went viral, got thousands and thousands of views, and that's how I got better at crafting YouTube videos, even though, right, I'm not even close to perfect. I don't think that's possible. So that's lesson two, copy the greats. It's just so powerful. And then we're gonna go and we're going to actually write listings ourselves. We're gonna go do write a bunch of listings ourselves, take ones that suck and optimize them and then come. And then you're gonna be good. Once you do that enough, you're gonna get very good, better than even I am because right, I've only had to write a few listings in my life where you have written 10, 20, 30 listings. So now you're very good at this skill. Let's go on to the third lesson here is how do you get clients, okay? We're gonna be reaching out to people in our space. For me, it's the Amazon space, okay? For you, it could be fashion, for you, it could be sports, it could be Shopify, it could be anything. And we're gonna reach out to them and, we're gonna, and you're gonna to come to me and say, or anybody, right? Adam, I've spent the last two to three months doing nothing but working on becoming good at listings, okay? I have read hundreds of the best-selling listings on Amazon. I have taken 30 listings that, I've, then I took 30 listings and I took every single one of them and I optimized them. And here are some of the ones I've done recently, okay? You're going to, first of all, you're gonna catch my attention because nobody ever comes to me and says they actually put effort into learning what they are trying to sell me. And then I'm gonna take a look at the work that you provided me and if it's good, I'm hiring you, I'm hiring you. I literally, I was planning on recording this video for weeks and I just had some guy come to me and do this exact thing and guess what? Boom, just like that. Uh, I hired him, his very first listing looks good and uh, and right now he's got my business and he'll probably have uh, be on the channel here soon. So there, this guy just came to me and got me to start paying $400 a listing, just like that, because I hate doing it for six paragraphs. Now, here's the third example we have, okay? This is going to be, uh, this is gonna be graphic design. Another thing where there's a lot of people in doing it for five bucks an hour in some third world country, okay? Again, I've used a lot of those people and they're they're not very good, okay? Not trying to bash on anybody, but really, I've used a lot of them at this point. But that's not what matters. Let's get on to the lessons here. So, you need to use the fourth lesson here, which is you gotta solve somebody's problem, okay? Or save somebody a lot of time. If you can do those, you are worth a lot of money to me. So. One thing I have to do as an Amazon seller is I consistently have to pick out a new brand, okay? Every time I launch a new brand, I have to get a logo designed, I have to kick a color scheme for that, I have to get all this stuff done. It takes a lot of time and I'm not very creative in that way, so I'm not good at it, okay? I can't envision a logo and a color scheme, any of that. I'm bad at that. So what if somebody, I don't know, uh, learn a little bit of graphic design, learn how to design logos and then they brought to me, okay, I, they brought to me a bunch of logos, different types of names for my product, different logos, all of them have different uh, color schemes. And then instead of, let me back up a little bit. So instead of me having to pick all this stuff out myself, I just go to their website. I have to sign some kind of non-disclosure so I can't steal their work. But then I just scroll down and they already have on their page 40 different names for a business. For each one has their own logo, each one has their own color scheme. They're all in different types of the market. Some of them have more elegant, some of them have more creative sounding names, some are more feminine, some more male. And like, look at that. Now what would have taken me five, likely 10, 15 hours to do all of this work is gonna take me five minutes, okay? Probably 30 minutes, just to pick out this stuff and be done with it. Do you know how much, you just saved me 
10 to 15 hours of my time. Do you know, you know how much value that has to me or how much value does it have to, to people who are selling millions of dollars and making millions of dollars a year on them? Like how much is their time worth, okay? 10 hours of their time is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, if you could save them 10 hours of their time, my gosh, they're gonna be willing to pay you well as well as I would be, okay? So now that we just took a skill, you were able to solve my problem, you were gonna save me time and I just paid you very well. So let's break down this. Let's go back to the beginning of this one more time. We're gonna get good at a skill. We're, gonna, we're going to say no to passive income. We're gonna get very good at a skill and get to the point where we're worth 50 to $100 an hour. Hell, I just paid somebody $170 uh, for an hour of their time for some YouTube consultation. I mean, lawyers get paid $500 an hour, right? right? They may not have a passive income source coming in, but lawyers are getting paid ridiculous sums of money and they just provide a skill to people. So. Say good, we're gonna say goodbye to passive income until you get enough money to build a passive income stream, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna get really good at a skill, we're gonna be able to market that, and we're gonna be able to stay at home with our kids, by ourselves, sleep whenever we want, and put in the time that way, okay? I hope this has been a very helpful video for you. Please, somebody apply that, please apply this, okay? Because this is, this could literally change your life, I have no doubt about it. It's not going to be easy, but if you're willing to put in two to four months of your time really hard, you could start making some serious money doing this. <laughs> right? I just gave you guys a couple of business ideas I think are phenomenal, and I hope you take them up on me. If you guys want to see how I made $1,000 in profit my very first month selling on Amazon, I'm going to put that link right here. If you want to see, okay, if you want to see how much money I make on Amazon, I'm going to put that video right here. Some people are curious so you can see my income reports. With that, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.